0.100 kilogram rubber ball is thrown down at 4.0 meters per second from height 2.5 meters. If it bounces to height 2.7 meters, calculate the efficiency. We begin by finding total energy input, which is a sum of potential energy plus kinetic energy. So that's the product of mass times force of gravity times height 1 plus the product of 1 half mass times velocity squared. That is zero point, the product of 0 0.100 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram times 2.5 meters plus the product of 1 half times 0 0.100 kilograms times 4.0 meters per second squared, which equals 3.25 joules. We then calculate the useful energy output, which is just potential energy, as at the peak of the bounce velocity, and thus kinetic energy is zero. So that equals mass times force of gravity times height 2, or 0 0.100 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram times 2.7 meters, which equals 2.646 joules. We then calculate efficiency, which is useful energy output divided by total energy input. So that's 2.646 joules divided by 3.25 joules, which equals 0 0.8142, or 81.42%, or just 81% in correct significant digits. Finally, we do our unit check. So kilograms times newtons per kilogram times meters. The kilograms cancel each other out, giving us newtons times meters, which just equals joules. Then we have kilograms times meters per second squared, which equals kilograms times meters squared per second squared, which equals kilograms times meters per second squared times meters. That equals newtons times meters, which equals joules. Finally, we divide new joules by joules, which gives us no unit.